Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to switch your profession specialization in WoW Classic using a book called Soothsaying for Dummies. This has been a bit of an unclear topic and it actually took me quite a bit of time to confirm how exactly this works as it has changed a bit over past expansions, but let's get right into it. To start, this applies to the following professions, blacksmithing, engineering, and leatherworking, as all of these professions can branch off into different specializations. But, what if you've chosen a specialty, then realize that you don't like it or you want to switch? Well, this first involves unlearning and relearning your profession entirely. Here are the steps. So, the steps that I'm about to go through with you have been confirmed by a blue post in Battle.net support, where somebody asked, how do I swap from Gnomish Engineering to Goblin Engineering? With the answer being, WoW Classic, to change your engineering specialization in Classic, you must follow these steps. Step 1. Unlearn Engineering. Step 2. Learn Engineering. Step 3. Level your engineering skill to at least 200. Step 4. Use the book Soothsaying for Dummies to select a new specialization. So let's go into more detail into how you actually do that. So step 1 was unlearn your profession. So the way you could do that is you press K, which is the default keybind, to open up your skill menu. Scroll down a bit to find the profession that you want to learn and click on it. You'll see it highlighted below. Look for the red circle with the slash through it next to the profession to unlearn it. Make sure you're 100% certain before doing so. Click the button and you will unlearn the profession. Okay, step two is relearn the profession. Visit any trainer to start over from scratch. You have to get back up to at least level 200. Step three, visit Narain Soothfancy's hut in Tanaris. Travel to Steamwheedle Port in Tanaris and search for the gnome Narain Soothfancy, located inside a hut. His coordinates are 6518, and his location is pinpointed on this map right here. Inside the hut, where he's located, you'll find the book Soothsang for Dummies on a table next to a crystal ball. You can hover your cursor over and right-click on the book. This book allows you to change specializations that you've previously learned with your profession. There's currently no quest or fee involved in doing so. And as I said, these steps have been confirmed by a blue post, so that's how I am following this. I haven't actually gotten to do this in-game yet because I'm still leveling my Gnomish Engineering, but I did want to help spread the word because a lot of people have been asking on Wowhead and in guides and on forums and all that stuff, so just wanted to add a bit more clarification. So I hope this has answered a lot of questions for you guys. I'm going to continue on in this video by discussing why someone would want to change their specialization, specifically starting with Engineering. A lot of people ask the question, should I go Gnomish or Goblin? What many people do is go Gnomish first, and once they create all the useful trinkets and gizmos, they switch to Goblin. Using the method described in this video is a great way to switch between the two. These gadgets and gizmos require a specialty to create, but only require general engineering to use. For example, the Gnomish Battle Chicken. Gnomish Battle Chicken's cool even though it does a little bit of damage. There is a chance for Battle Squawk to occur, which is an attack speed increase by 5%. This could be a really nice damage boost if you're in a raid and you're fighting a boss. Gnomish Death Ray, the Death Ray is especially popular in PvP because it does damage based on the health pool of the user, and most players will stack a lot of stamina in PvP, so if you have a lot of stamina, the Death Ray can do massive amounts of damage. Those are just a couple of examples. Once you've created all the Gnomish gadgets to your desire, you can now switch to Goblin. Another incentive from starting with Gnomish, then moving to Goblin, is that Goblin Engineering recipes are usually consumed upon use, such as the Goblin Sapper Charge that you have to keep crafting to replenish their supply. So keeping Goblin Engineering will allow you to continue doing so. Imagine being able to utilize the Gnomish Death Ray and Goblin Sapper Charges. It's entirely possible. It may be a bit expensive to go through with all of this, but it's absolutely worth it in the end to give you a bit of an edge. And as I previously mentioned, this can be applied to blacksmithing and leatherworking as well. Blacksmithing in particular could branch off into several specialties. You could either choose to be an armorsmith, which branches off into advanced armorsmithing, or you could choose to be a weaponsmith, which branches off into axesmith, hammersmith, or swordsmith. In WoW Classic, many blacksmiths will choose to go with armorsmith. That's because if you're crafting gear to help your raid out, especially early on with the fire resistance, you utilize Loktos Dark Bargainer, the NPC for the Thorium Brotherhood, located inside Blackrock Depths, who sells reputation reward recipes. For Armorsmiths, Loktos sells quite a few recipes in Phase 1, however I have noticed that several of them are not available until Phase 3. So do take note of that if you're looking to craft everything in Phase 1, some of them are pushed back to Phase 3. And lastly, as I mentioned, leatherworking also has the specializations of Dragon Scale, Elemental, and Tribal. 
Tribal may be the most notorious as it is the specialization that, that leather workers use to craft devil sword leggings and gauntlets, which is a pre-raid bis and a very hot item in phase one of classic especially. Selling for a lot of money and very high in demand. So I hope this video was useful for you guys. Again, this video went over how to utilize the book Soothsaying for Dummies if you want to switch your profession specialization in WoW Classic. And again, as of right now, there is no fee associated with doing so, and no additional quest in order to do so as well. And as stated in the blue post, you do have to unlearn your profession and then relearn it to level 200 in order to go through with this process. So again, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If anybody has actually done this in-game yet, let me know. Like I said, I'm still working on my Gnomish engineering, so I'm not quite ready to switch to Goblin just yet. But um, if anybody has completed this, I'd love to hear what profession you are and which specialization you switch to in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more classic WoW videos. And you could also follow my live stream at Quissy TV over on Twitch. I just recently hit level 60, so I'm going to be doing a lot more in-game content now. Hopefully getting into MC soon and uh, getting my Onyxia attunement, which I'm almost finished with and probably should be working on right now. But I chose to prioritize making this video instead. Rightfully so, right? And you could also follow my Twitter at QuissyTV over on Twitter. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you soon. And come say hi during one of my live streams. Take care.